Yeah. Manchester United keep getting linked to Frankie de Jong. Does that make sense to you, Gab? I mean, to me, this is one of those two plus two situations, right? I don't think Frankie de Jong has been anywhere near as poor for Barcelona this year as he's not had a great season, but he's not been anywhere near no. as poor. It seems that like when things are going bad, it was always yeah, his yeah. fault, so right? They, they, yeah. um, but more importantly, from Barcelona's perspective, they have a bunch of older guys who make a lot of money and nobody wants, and they have a bunch of younger guys that they don't want to sell. And they have these major, major salary restrictions. Although yeah. it looks like the Coutinho deal is done, so at least you get some yeah, money no, back there. That's a good thing for them. Um, Frankie de Jong is one of their very few saleable assets. Uh, I'd assume you get something for Sergio Des. But the reality is you've got a bunch of guys who, yeah, you know, you could, get, you could get money for Araujo, but you don't want to sell Araujo, right? No. Who else are you going to get money for? Nobody, yeah. right? Other than Pedri, whatever, but you're not going to sell those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones so, possibly Memphis. And, but I sometimes feel like I am the biggest Memphis fan uh, there is. You may be on your own. Yeah, but I'm uh, Equally, Ten Hag's worked with De Jong before, and obviously De Jong happens to play central midfield, which is a position where, you know, you've got tumbleweed other than Fred. Yeah. You know, and sorry, McTominay, but I think at this stage we can come to the conclusion that I'm not sure McTominay is a starter on a good Manchester United team. Do Definitely you? not. I can, okay. I can so, agree with you. So um, in that sense, it all makes a ton of sense. Question is, what does Eric Ten Hag think? Yeah. Um, if he's already trying to re rehabilitate Donny van de Beek as well, uh, is there a sense of getting the gang back to, to, together? Certainly, if you're United, you go for him. You try to drive the price down. Barcelona paid a ton of money for him. Yeah. Um, so for Barcelona, even with amortization, to try to get to, 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 to make a profit off this, and they would want to make a sizable profit, yeah. you'd still be looking at what? 80 million, yeah, something like that. Maybe a little bit less, but not It's much a lot of less. money to spend yeah, for De Jong, uh, for this De Jong. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.